everyone welcome back so those who have registered for tcs hack quest season 10 they might have got this mail about the round one details so here you can see the details so here is the mail let's see what the details are about round one is going to begin on 13 december 2025 time is 10 am to 4 pm that is total of six hours so before proceeding further, if you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I post the videos related to tech updates, job updates, internship updates and free courses. So do check out my videos on the notification to never miss an update. So they even given the instructions and FAQs document, we can check that. And if you have any queries, you can mail you can mail to the careers at the rate tcs.com. So here are the webinar details if you can see. So webinar is on 11th December 2025. Time is 6.30 pm to 7.30 pm. Here is the webinar number, webinar password. Here is the link. You can navigate through this link. Click on continue to destination. Then you can join from the browser or you can download the app and join from there. So here they gave FAQs, frequently asked questions and round one instructions. So let's see. So let's see round one instructions first. So let's read this carefully. So to participate in round one, you must log in with your CT or DT ID and the password used during registration. So I have already explained the registration process where we use the CT or DT ID. If you haven't watched the video, you can watch. I will give in the I button on the description. And next, report submission is mandatory. You need to submit the report compulsorily. So reports must be uploaded in TCS HackQuest template which can be downloaded from the portal. So in the portal you can find TCS HackQuest template. That report you need to submit. You must be ready with the platform of your choice and you should download the files related to the challenges. So you need to have high speed internet connection. The size may vary as per challenge complexity. So make sure you are having stable high speed internet connection. You are allowed to use tools and programming languages of your choice. You must solve all challenges to maximize the score. So solve as many problems you can because it will maximize your score. So you are advised to start working on the report from the beginning of the contest itself and submit the report within the time window of 4 pm to 6 pm. So the contest timings are 10 am to 4 pm, right? Within that time slot, you must complete the report and you must submit it by 6 pm. So the window will be open from 4 pm to 6 pm. At any time you can submit from 4 to 6. And capture detailed evidence of each step of the challenge solution as soon as the challenge is solved. You must take the screenshot as evidence. And do not wait for the end of contest. The report submitted must have clear and detailed indication. Images and descriptions of the methodology and the steps taken to acquire the flag. So everything you must present in a detailed way so it must be clear without a report filled in with relevant steps to solve the challenge in the official template available on the platform the report will be considered null and void which which might lead to complete disqualification so if you don't uh, follow the required steps which are given in the report if you do it without following the relevant steps you will be disqualified so there will be a hidden flag in each challenge which would be the format of HQX. So the hidden flags will be in this format and you are expected to be on the lookout for the same. So you need to look out for this kind of flags. Once you have found the flag, submit it in the, fa in the flag submission box provided in each of the challenge pop-ups. So whenever you find the flag, you must submit it in the flag submission box. Please be aware that the challenge files you downloaded for this exercise may trigger security warnings in your browser. These files are essential for completing the challenges. Next, you may see one or more challenges being replaced with the new challenges during the contest. This may happen anytime during the contest. If you see a new challenge during the contest, then you need to solve it as well. So, many challenges will be replacing with some other challenge. So, if you face that kind of situation, then you must solve or challenges which are new too. So if you are facing any problem during the submission like error message if you are getting, you can re-download it and try solving it again and submit it. You can clear the catch, you delete history and all. 
anyone submit the report in the TCS hack quest platform only and only in case of technical difficulty you may choose to mail the report to the TCS careers team so mandatorily you need to submit the report to TCS hack quest platform in case if a, if there is any technical issue then you can mail to the TCS careers team only if you have difficulty and in case of any other queries or issues you can write to careers at the rate tcs.com from your TCS next step registered email and make sure you mention the issue with all the details ensure to include TCS hack quest season 10 at the beginning of the subject and mention your CTDT ID in this way they will reply to our mail as soon as possible so make sure you are following these steps please note that the email communication with the TCS team shall be the only legitimate and recognized mode of communication so while reaching out to the TCS carriers team for any issue please try to be as specific as possible include any additional details you think may be relevant such as how you troubleshooted or what steps you have taken to troubleshoot now here you can see some of the prohibited activities which you should not do and if you violate this it will lead to negative consequences Collaboration with other individuals or group or just simply publishing solve challenges on social media undermines the principle of independence and personal accountability thus it is strictly prohibited. So you know you should not post your answers on social media. If you do so it will lead to serious consequence. So don't do that. Okay. Refrain from engaging in any malpractice such as actions not only violate the ethical standard but also carry a severe consequence for your academic and professional future so don't do any malpractice it will lead to a severe consequence for academic and professional future be very serious and write it carefully please do not attempt to tamper with the tcs hackquest platform itself running brute force attacks on the base platform would restrict your access from the platform automatically so don't prof don't try to perform any brute force attacks or any other attacks if you know any. Use of any automated scanners and tools that send a huge traffic to the TCS hackers platform and lock your account. So if you try to do anything like this, your account will be locked. So be careful. So if you are failing to adhere to these restrictions or anything, you will be disqualified or ensure you are ensuring fairness, honesty and integrity. So that's all for today's video. and. I'll post the video related to frequently asked questions of TCS HackQuest. So stay tuned for it. And if you have any doubt regarding this video or in the TCS HackQuest season 10, you can just comment them in the comment box. I'll surely re reply to them. If you like this video, please like and share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. See you in next video. Till then, keep learning. All the best for your exam. Bye-bye.